I am Homo Lailasie. Hi, I'm Homo Christianie. Hi, I am Homo Murtasie. I am Homo Pabebe. A few moments later. Hi, future self. So if ever you're watching this, I want to say thank you and congrats. You're still alive. <laughs> no, um, thank you for surviving. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for being strong. Maybe I didn't do enough. I know that you did. And ko ano man ang decision mo, if ever you did pursue pharma or not, gusto ko ihambal nga I'm proud of your decision. Um, just continue being you. Bayad ako nang inabas iban as long as you know who you are. It's already enough. You are already enough and um, try being a lipophilic molecule that penetrates membrane um, don't be afraid to go to another level to go to another places um, just go through those barriers um, take risks but at least uh, know when to stop because Never forget that too much is toxic and you are more important than important than anything else. Take care of yourself. Mm, sleep if you want. Cry if you want. It's alright. Um there's no need to prove to anyone how good you are because for God you are the best and God's approval is worth everything just know and choose always what is right in every situation gamay man na or dako um don't be afraid never ever be afraid 
and always afraid. So I hope and pray that you will be brave to conquer everything. You can do it. I'm happy for you. Yeah. I'm happy. And I love yourself. Hi guys. So we are tasked to give a message for ourselves after five years. So to myself, after five years, how are you? Um, I hope that you are doing okay. Um, I hope that you are happy with the path na gimpili mo. Um, always remember that all the hardships, all the sleepless nights, literally nga sleepless kaya wala kita tinulugan. Um, I hope that okay ang iya outcome, like happy kagin, like you are living with no regrets, nga gina enjoy mo imo life and worth it ang tanan nga sacrifices. I just hope that you are still strong and or more stronger because I know hindi subong hindi increase emotionally strong. But I hope that after 5 years you are stronger, stronger ka na physically, emotionally, spiritually and tanan tanan. You are the version 2.0 na I hope and hindi mo lang pagkalimtan nga sa kinetics class you have learned that the get or the gastric emptying time is inversely proportional to the rate of absorption so putata siya sa life like um kun damo kun increase ang imo nga pan, ginapanumdum or ang things nga are sa mind mo hindi mo siya maabsorb nubo ang imo rate of absorption so always remember that himuon mo lang ang kung anong priority yung maset ka priorities mo and himuon mo isa-isa like ma-accomplish ma mo lang sa tanan-tanan kung isa-isa mo lang siya danay hindi mo ginpagulpihon imo lawas or imo nga mind sa mga bagay nga amun na always remember that and amun mo na ahmali ni Salia na tandaan mo kita dapat na isa-isa mo lang like break down but bangon kaliwat that's life and I hope nga okay ka gil after 5 years and don't forget ang imo nga mantra in life nga your high school teacher once said Miss Magalona once said that sacrifice today happiness tomorrow amo lang kita everyday mo na ihambal sa self mo para you will be okay na masacrifice ka kay happiness na tomorrow. You will say that to yourself every day. Amo lang kita. Para amo na. <laughs> um, for Anna today, good job for doing okay or for not well kid man ang sa exams. But happy kid ko kay I survived the past weeks. Na super, super kapoy kid siya. Literally kapoy, emotionally draining. But See, naka survive ka. You're, you are so, so strong na sa amun ang part. So keep it up. Love yourself. Bye. So, hello, I'm Bea Marie Pigan Marius, a third year student, third year pharmacy student from the University of Niagara's Occidental Rockletus. So, um, what can I say to myself for my future self? And I guess, um, let me start this with, um, praise be Jesus and Mary, now and forever. Um, I'd like to congratulate you because you've made this far. Um, I'm so proud on what you have achieved. Um, I know, um, you have struggled a lot, uh, five years ago during your college years, maybe in academic, in your er organizations that you've joined to, or in your family or your personal struggles. No? So um, this, I'm really proud with you because um, you've made this far already and I know that you can still do more, you can still do um, whatever you want. No? So, yeah. Um, 
I really admire your passion for um, service, especially in serving the community and the church. So um, I wish and pray that you continue to pursue that, your passion in that aspect, because that's what makes you, um, that's what makes you more closer to God. So I hope you're now happy with the um, vocation that you have chosen for your life. Um, whatever may it be, I will be, I will still be happy and will still support you on the chosen um, path that you have um, chose. Now, so um, I know that you are a strong and a brave person, and I know that um, there's nothing that you cannot do as long as you as you hold on to God. Now, so um, I wish and I hope that you keep on praying. And, and every choice that you're going to make with your life now so keep on praying and may you always remember all the good memories you have in the past and may you um, um, learn the lessons from those um, bad memories naman that you have undergone now. so um, I wish you good in life and I wish you more blessings may you um um, or may the good Lord grant all the desires of your heart. So a message to my future self. Wherever you are, God placed you there. And He always has a purpose. And as an inspiration, always look back into this year how much you held out so much. So first, I would advise you if you're still introvert and if you still do not associate with other people try to communicate your feelings your emotions try to be open with your friends always find people that you could trust and always realize that there is always 0.1 percent goodness in every person second mm, try to explore and get out of your comfort zone uh, I know you always want to be in your comfort zone with the people that you know, with the place that you are familiar with. But as much as possible, try to venture out. So my last advice would be, be good to yourself. Be forgiving with yourself. Don't be so hard trying for perfection or trying to achieve things. And if things don't be under the way on you want, the way that you want, you get frustrated. Try to see beauty in things. Try to see the silver lining. Try to see the brighter side of things. And remain thankful. Remain grateful. Remain, remain humble and down to earth. Hi guys, it's me, Kristen Gale. So it's already 1.40 give up kid kay sumo malang grabe na akong nga sacrifice para si mo para maging happy ka and worth it tanan tanan para worth it ang ulaw mo tao mo ang sacrifice ang parents mo and para hindi ka mag hinulsol sa ulihi also don't push yourself too hard ang maka, kung ano lang ang makaya mo take a break and enjoy life no need to stress out have fun and travel travel din pag may time and also I hope ma-achieve mo ang imong dream nga maging RPH ka na so most importantly never forget to thank God for all the blessings no matter how good or bad there's always a reason and it is always for the best.
anxious thought that steals my breath. It's a heavy weight upon my chest. As I lie awake and wonder what the future will hold, help me to remember that you're in control. You're my courage when I worry in the dead of night. You're my strength 'cause I'm not strong enough to win this fight. You are greater.